Hi there, my name is Oliver. Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what it's like to fly business class from Amsterdam to Ethiopia, to Tanzania, then back to Ethiopia and to Seychelles. We have a lot of flights to catch and we're flying with Lufthansa and Ethiopian Airlines. And I'm going to show you exactly what it's like to fly with those airlines, what food they serve, how the service is and what the seats look like. So grab your stop and your boarding passes because we're about to catch the first flight. But today we're going to Tanzania. We're going to do a eight day safari trip through the beautiful nature and the landscapes of Tanzania. I'm very excited. I've never been, well, I've been to Africa to Morocco but not to any other country so I'm very excited I'm traveling with Salo very good friend of mine and I'm gonna take you guys with me so the first plane we're flying with from Amsterdam to Frankfurt is gonna be an Airbus 350 and we're flying with Lufthansa like I said we will be flying business class with two different airlines, Lufthansa and Ethiopian Airlines. It's gonna be exciting because almost all business class cabins are different on each flight. So join me on these flights and find out why business class is so expensive. Just like myself, many people just buy an economy class ticket. It saves you a ton of money since a business class ticket is often twice or triple as much. This is my very first time flying business, so I'm pretty excited. And it's not just one flight, we have seven business flights to catch and I'm gonna show you all of them. Every day hundreds of thousands of planes are being redirected by air control to get to their destination safely. The majority of those planes are fully occupied with passengers. Every plane has a business class section where people get extra attention, special food menus and VIP service. But most of the people will never fly business since they don't want to spend twice as much money on a plane ticket and I understand them. Why would you? Well sit tight and fasten your seat belts because I'm about to show you why business Business class is so expensive and why it is completely worth it or not. Let's start our journey. All right, perfect. It's departure time. We are walking to our gate, which is obviously on the other side of the airport. Wow, this is fancy. They got a sashimi. Look at that. Delicious. Delicious. So now we're flying from Frankfurt to Addis Ababa, which takes us around seven hours, more or less. And we're flying an Airbus 350. We made it! Yay! Yay! We're on our way to Tanzania. All right, first time, Ethiopia. This is so nice. They give you hot towels to fresh up a little bit. Alright, perfect. We're ready. He's looking for headphones. No. You can have mine. No, they're looking for the power of the first one. We go. Do they have the USB one? But I want this one right here. Let's see what kind of food they have. And well, the seats are very, very comfy. I like it. You know, fun fact first time business class for me. Now they show us some safety instructions. Of course, I need to take a picture in the bathroom of the plane as well. All right, here we are, laying down. He's watching the show. And I am just here, chilling. You can literally choose to for your feet to go up and down and your back also. You can make it up and right away or you can click here to make it up right again. So yeah, this is actually really comfy. Seven more hours to go. I'm ready. Okay, so this is dinner. It's a quail, like a chicken, with rice and asparagus, with salad and creme brulee as a dessert. That's perfect. It's delicious. I asked for an express dinner because I actually want to eat and then sleep because it is a seven hour flight, but we arrive at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I actually want to take, you know, sleep a little bit. So that's why I don't want to do all the courses. It's just express, perfect. He knows how to put his cutlery right. <laughs> I just put it all there. It's good. The chicken is good. This is the quail. I slept a good two hours. It was not that comfortable, but it was okay. I mean, you can make this seat literally a whole bag. So I could sleep a little bit, but we are in the front row. So it's funny because there's a screen displaying flight information. And it's, they keep it on, even though the lights in the cabin are off. So it's pretty bright. We're next to the toilets. But I mean, I still could sleep pretty good. Uh, Salo, on the other hand, he had nightmares. 
Okay, it's raining. Gosh. But we have a bus waiting for us. Welcome to Eatsy with me. We arrived in the lounge and we had spectacular views over the city. So many people already on the street and it's like not even 7 a.m. We have arrived in Addis Ababa and we have a four and a half hour layover before we take our flight to Tanzania to Kilimanjaro. We are right now in the lounge. They are already serving breakfast so that's amazing because I am getting a little bit hungry to be honest. Saulo has eaten all the cakes that we got with our last tea in the plane so he is kind of full. I can eat something so I'm gonna get a croissant or something. I already saw some delicious chocolate croissants so I'm gonna go for those. Claim the spot with nice views over the city. It is time to take off and this plane is even bigger than the last one. The seats are more closed off this time, you have more privacy. They changed the seat, now he's all alone there, 7J. Hello. <laughs> and here, I can press the button. Then I can see my maid, but there's no one here yet. Salo was supposed to be sitting here, but now that they changed his seat, I'm just gonna press this little button and the thing is gonna know. <laughs> Let's see what they have in the menu. Everything you can choose. All right, this is the dinner, this is the fish. We have our dessert, strawberry mousse cake, and a salad with chicken as well. Let's try it. All right, here we are, Tanzania, Kilimanjaro. We have arrived, 16 hours. Something like that. It's a good temperature here, 25 degrees, something like that. It's amazing. After one month of cold, rainy Holland, this is perfect. So now let's get through security check, through customs, and find our transfer. Now it's time to fly to Seychelles, an island group right off the coast of Eastern Africa, and it takes around three and a half hours to get there. We will be flying in a Boeing 737 MAX, the one that had a lot of problems in the past, and even two plane crashes. But now they fixed everything, the planes were on the ground for over two years, and it's safe to fly with those airplanes again. Nice, now they drive us to the plane and we fly in 20 minutes. This transfer was part of Ethiopian Airlines VIP service, Cloud9, they call it. They pick you up in a private van and drop you off right in front of the airplane. I'm quickly changing into a different shirt. I'm too hot and I'm sweaty as well. We're ready. Look who's coming to sit next to me. Bother you a little bit. Nice. Boarding is completed so he could change his seat. Now we're sitting together. Better. Oh yeah, and this is the Kilimanjaro mountain. So let's see what the business class looks like in a Boeing 737 MAX. Well, first impression, normal seat rows, but you just get more space. And of course, they greet you with a hot towel and a glass of champagne. Yeah. We're on the plane to say Shelly's. Shelly's. Say Shelly's, the Mahe Island. There we go. So this is the menu. And they have Ethiopian national dishes. Amazing. And here are the desserts. Nice. I think I'm gonna go for the chicken nuggets there. And maybe the tips fear fear. fear. The lamp. I think the lamp. And the fresh seasonal fruits section. Looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Because of Amy, a friend of mine, I'm addicted to tonic. This tastes amazing. Turns out you don't have to choose only one dish. You can literally try all of them. And it was delicious, but so spicy. And the dessert was quickly served after with many options to choose from. They gave us nice socks, Ethiopian socks. So nice. We're almost there. Victoria, seashells. Perfect. 
After a short flight of three and a half hours, we arrived at the Seychelles Islands. There are 115 islands in the Indian Ocean, part of the Seychelles. I obviously made a travel vlog about my stay here, so definitely check out my YouTube channel to discover these exciting videos. Guys, we have arrived! Yes! Hey! I'm just very hot. Your hair looks good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I already took off my sweater. This was everything, guys. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So now that you've seen all my flights in the business class in all those planes, would you travel Ethiopian Airlines business class do you think it's worth it paying double maybe triple the price that you pay for an economy seat for now thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well hit the bell icon to stay updated about all the future videos that I'm gonna post because the future is gonna be exciting thanks again and I'll see you at the next video